What's going on YouTube? I want to do a quick uh, video on some of the equipment on this 60 gallon rimless cube that I've got going on with the floating reef in it. Got a lot of compliments on the aquascape thus far. So I appreciate that guys. I did put a lot of time and effort into building that out. Can't really see it with the blue light on right now, but you see the flash of lightning there. But that is going to be a floating reef as we add the coral all on top and build this thing out. So anyway, a uh, quick shout out to you guys that uh, complimented me on the reefscape. Let's get down to it. So uh, we just got a basic um, stand here that we built, stain, and then down below. Uh, don't mind some of the unfinished business, we're still working on it. You gotta mount the uh, temperature, the thermometer, things like that, stay that. But we're running about, I believe this is, 30 or 40 gallon uh, sump essentially with the reef octopus uh, which I'm a huge fan of that skimmer. I did go with a oversized skimmer. This skimmer is probably two times uh, what's actually needed for a tank of this size. This would probably run a 125 gallon tank if I wanted. Uh, we've got on a 60 gallon cube. All in all we've got probably 60 gallons on the display and another 20 gallons down below, give or take. So we're probably running about 80 gallons total. And then we've got an oversized return pump. Um, it's got your basic stages. I've got the live rock in chamber one, carbon, uh, protein skimmer. And it's got a, um, a mechanical filter there to catch any debris. And then of course the return pump that spits the water back out. I did go with an oversized return pump on this tank because I'm just running an MP10, I believe this size, yeah, Vortec MP10 is what I have on this specific tank, uh, which I'm very satisfied with. It actually produces a little too much flow for the most part, but when I want to turn that down, I can just utilize my uh, return pump. It really would actually produce plenty of uh, flow within this tank here specifically. So uh, that is the basics of what we're running. I do have a Basically, when the water goes low, it pumps the water back into the tank. Auto, auto top off, sorry there, I had a, a brain fart. <laughs> but anyway, I do have an auto top off right here. So the time the water gets below that, of course, it kicks on and keeps the water stabilized as far as the salinity um, by topping off the water. So uh, that is the simplicity and the basics of what is behind the scenes that is actually running this 60 gallon cube that we're building out. So, any questions, comments, let me know. I'll do another video here in the near future with a little bit more light. Just thought I'd do an evening shot as I introduced our yellow tang in our tank tonight. So he's getting settled in. I thought while I was cleaning things up and packing them away, I'd do a quick video for you all. So, let me know your thoughts, guys. If you have any questions on the simplicity behind this tank and how you can also set one up, where you can have less than a couple hours a week other than just actually being in awe on your display. But as far as maintenance goes, you want to keep a low maintenance tank, get a hold of me. I've done that successfully with many, many different tanks. So, lighting's pretty cool on the uh, AI light that I have. It's all LED. Let's see if it'll flash again before we head out. Anyway guys, have a good evening. Boom.